device we're going to be installing today, and it's a multi-port uh, media access uh, panel, and it fits flush into uh, a conference room table. And it, it's nice because if you just click on it a little bit, it pops up in there and has all your media access that you need, uh, either to hook up your computer and just work on your computer, or you can hook up to a... Uh, uh, a whiteboard, smart whiteboard, or a projector, or something like that, into a presentation in a conference room. But today we're just looking at this small one. They, they come in many different flavors and configurations, but today we're going to look at this small one. And of, of course, it comes with plugs and all, so you don't need a licensed electrician uh, to install this. It's all terminated, so if you're, you just plug it into the wall or to the floor jacks or whatever you have. Um, you can see it has a little gas piston there, so it's not a cheap device. And that gas piston is the thing that pushes it up, but it doesn't snap it up. So it's not just a spring. It comes up nice and smooth. And of course it locks back down. These two areas right here is what you use these devices for, and you connect them, and it for different thicknesses of cables, and that's how you would tighten it to the table once you put it in. And today we're going to demonstrate how to cut that hole. It also comes with these things that you can attach underneath the, the table that holds the, the cables up out of your way so you're not hitting them with your knee or, or things like that. You know, and it comes with two screws to attach them. What we've done is we've downloaded the template that we're going to cut out today. And uh, we went one step further and we cut the template out. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another hole and I'm going to show you how I did the first one and we're going to connect it. So these are the parts that it comes with. It's fully configured the way you ask for it and all you need to do is plug it into your outlet on the wall or the floor and these are the additional parts. The template, the miscellaneous hardware. Before you start cutting holes in your uh, conference room table that you have the right template. And if you notice the template is smaller on the edges, that's to help you if you go outside your lines, you know, if you're not one of those children that never could stay within the coloring lines, this will work well for you. So what we're going to do is, you know, what you want to do is center this where you want it on the table, use, you know, your uh, rulers, everything else. You might want to use a pencil in marking it off. I'm going to use a Sharpie, and I'm going to use a thin Sharpie and I'm going to copy it, the template, completely around. And then I have my square there, as you can see. Now, going back to the product itself, it gives you a lot of room here. So if you're not precise in your cuts, it covers up some mistakes. But you want to follow the template as close as possible. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the drill and I'm going to drill out the corners. I don't have to be exactly on the corner. I just have to have a place to start my jigsaw. So I don't even have to draw out all four corners, but I'm going to do that anyway. Now, if you notice, this is not perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect because there are devices in here that are uh, made such to cover up your mistakes. So you don't have to be uh, perfect in your cutout. My cutout is far from perfect. So don't feel intimidated by this. This is not hard at all. I'm going to push all the cable through the conference room. Looks kind of rough there, doesn't it? Look at this now. Watch. Push all the cables down, and it's completely covered up all my mistakes. If you do this in your business, your customers who come into the conference room will think that, that you have a, uh, an expert installer doing this. And of course, if you're an employee and you're doing this for your boss, they'll think you're a genius.
And of course, what you need now, and I'm not going to use it, but you need your two clamps underneath to tighten it. But there it goes. A well-designed product, heavy steel, brushed, or heavy brushed aluminum, just looks nice. And if you, once you put those clamps down there, it's not going to move around like this. But as you can see, my, my cut is not perfect, but I can cover up the, my mistakes. And you can do the same. It's a nice install, it'll look great on the conference room table, and it will add to the professionalism of your conference room. Again, this is Jim from CableSupply.com, and you can find this on our website. Thank you for watching our video.